gardening today i'll be planting out my dashi my taro so i have two in this container that i need to take out and separate i have four babies that's way overdue to go out and i also have my last year taro that came back up so we're going to plant out loads of taro today so loads of taro to be planted today guys so these are the biggest ones and i have a lemon tree growing in there as well so you know the taro they're heavy feeders they love a lot of water and two in this tiny container will not work guys no it will not and then if you look at these these were started from peeling guys look at my taro root on here they're way overdue to go out and then my good tiny one from last year that sprung back up guys so i'm gonna take these out and show you that these were just cuttings that i took from the kitchen Wow, look at the root system so you can see the dash in here if i rub it away so this was just a bottom bit of a dash in that i had in my kitchen you can see more roots coming up there nice healthy system guys so all of them coming from this dash in right here but dash in need a lot of space guys so I'm just taking it off so you can see my dashing. So that's the dashing right there. You can see it there. So I have to take them out and put them in individual container. So you can see nice healthy root system. So I fight with these after. And then probably I don't know if you can see. If you look there, you can see new shoots coming off from that one. So I fight with that one afterwards. This is the one I'm gonna work with first. Because that's the biggest and I think I'm gonna put the first one in this container when I'm finished I show the size container and everything and then this baby can go over there for now and what I need to do is to take these out separate them keep the lemon tree hopefully and then let this taro continue to go on because it needs some food so i'm gonna repot it then feed it up and then hopefully i'm gonna keep it in a covered location this year so i can get extra warmth for it to grow on nice lamb fat up so i can have a harvest by november guys that's the plan so by november this time november this year late autumn nice healthy root system hopefully you can see so i'm going to continue teasing out nice healthy root system for oops they they just came out so quickly and damaged my little taro but that's okay these things are hard work but they are sturdy they're continuing to grow on can you see that guys nice so this is one plant you know they're the most beautiful you know i have these are the taro these are the dashin guys so this is just can you see just when i peel the dashin that's just the peeling that's not the bottom or the top that's just the peeling so now i have the video online how to show you to go taro the dashin from peel this it doesn't matter you just peel the dashin it will root that's a peel you can grow it from the top you can grow it from the bottom and you can see loads of babies coming up so all i'm going to do is to put one this is the only one I'm going to be in this container probably put the extra dirt in there so the container wasn't that full extra dirt from the bucket it just came from put it all in hopefully you can see guys i probably need to change the camera because it's shaking for you hold on Okay, I've repositioned the camera for you guys. So all I'm doing now is just mixing up the compost. This is some compost from my yam with the sand. Some old compost I have just scattered around, guys. Nothing fancy. Just random compost. 
and then I'm just gonna put the oil in the middle and then take my nice healthy taro root here put it right in the middle and guys they need a lot of space so I'm not gonna put more than one in this container so that's all I'm doing and then I just water it in I just take all this bit that fall out oops so that's the bit that was in there with it so that's the other taro and that's my nice lemon tree there that I need to separate so I can pot it up somewhere else and then oh the root on here is long I need to separate it without damaging the root so let's see uh, so that's it that's the root here I'm just gonna put that aside I think I need to go down a little more so that's it right here a nice taro uh, that's it guys so this this as well is another cutting can you see just a slice of the um not the slice actually sorry the peel when you peel your dashing to cook it that's just the peel look how thin this is so I didn't peel it deep or anything. This is very thin. This is the normal way. You just peel the dash in. And look how healthy. Look at the healthish um, plant that just come from the peel. Guys, stop wasting the nice. Um, stop wasting your peel and all those things, guys. Not only can you use it for manure in the garden. But you can grow them on. And you don't have to sacrifice your dash in. Cook all of it, guys. Peel it as normal. And then it will grow don't waste your dashing to put half of it to germinate you don't need to do that you literally just need a peel from your dashing so that's the first two that's potted i'm not going to go through with all of them then i'm going to go through i'm going to separate these these lovely lovely so this was a cutting from the dashing so this was the bottom i think of the dashing i just sliced off so this is not the peel it's just like the bottom i slice off then i have all these dashing going um growing so for these two all i'm gonna do now hopefully you can see both of them so i have this one and that one so all i'm gonna do now is basically just water it in with some liquid seaweed that's all i'm gonna do and then that will be my taro planted for 2022 now i have the water with the liquid seaweed already in there and you just water it in guys that's all and then i let these tubers get nice and fat and then hopefully end of february sorry i should say end of november i should be harvesting some dashi so there are every feeders feed them at least once a week or every other week and make sure they stay the they soil stay moist they love a lot of water so that's it guys so that's the first two planted out then i'm gonna do those afterwards so i i don't know what i'm gonna do with so much i don't have so much container so thanks for watching thanks for viewing until next time guys keep gardening take care now bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell